Hello. Petra sent me a, a pack. Here is the pack. We must open it and have a look what's inside. And, uh, uh huh. We hope so. It's one new thing to repair. But, uh, she sent me that from Wilhaben and let's have a look what's inside. Well packed. Uh huh. And oh look, it's a CD player. <laughs> Very funny. Schneider. Schneider CDP 7000. <laughs> very funny. That's cool. Thank you very much for sending this. And um, yeah, it's a nice machine, I think. Here it is. I hope so it works. Now we would like to open up this. Unscrewing the screws on the left and on the right side. And then, must hold this. Oh, it's in some bag. And then, we hope so that we can repair it. Oh, it was open. Seems to be that other ones are, I would like to repair it, or stuff like this. Let's have a look under the hood. Aha! This is an interest mechanism. What the hell is this? Should be interest, huh? This is interest, huh? What is this for a mechanism? Uh huh. It's a belt problem. And here is dangerous also the power supply from the 230 volts. Don't touch this. If you see this, don't touch around here. Transformer. Uh huh. No end switch. And the interest, these loading mechanisms are not running. Interesting. <laughs> so, only the connectors are come back in the right position. Aha! That's fixed ground here. We must uninstall it. I disassemble it. So, here is the, here is the mechanism and we check up what's happened now with this. I think so. Here is a, a motor, stuff like this. Aha, this is interesting. It's a rubber gum here. You can see that here now. It's interesting. It's here. It's near here. <laughs> I deinstalled uh, this part and I hope so I can come through this um, through the mechanism under this thing. It's happened here. Aha. Uh -huh. It's interest. Boing, spoing, we must know it. Okay. Remember this. And we must Release this. Also spraying. Spraying. Uh -huh. It's not so easy to understand how it works. Aha, uh -huh. here's the end. 
the end of the end. Aha! <laughs> now we can slide it back and forth. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And here is the gum. Here is the rubber gum. Under this, I must. That's interesting. That. Ah, it's here. The brake screw is here. That means we must move this to the side. And that. This plastic part and on this side, these two plastic parts here and here, hold the slider here on the end. Uh, we must check it up. It's complicated, look. And now we have the motor open here. And this rubber belt, ah, it's loosened, huh? It's loosened. We hope so, oops. <laughs> we hope so, it's a, it's a special thing here, look. And then at the end, this will be here, say it's the end. Let's have a look. watch in the belt sack. Here is the belts from China. A hundred and thousand belts inside. <coughs> we must um, we must have a watch inside. How we can see this? I think so for Schneider never belt more exist. Original I mean it's it's not exist it's only um, few on the markets maybe making a copy or so I don't think so oh, this looks like nice huh? this one but it's very small hmm. you must think it must hold over a thousand years again if I repair this now we do that only for this uh, idea that I make a test with it, and um, oh, this is this looks like nice. Maybe two belts, two belts at the same transportation. Uh, it doesn't have, doesn't fit, or do that fit? What do you think? What do you think does it fit? Huh? It's very small. It's not. Uh, Good rubber thing, quality is poor, but for the next 20 years it should hold. Huh? Maybe it doesn't work, huh? It's too, it's too small. Hmm? Maybe we can test it. It's okay, we can test it. By the way, what shall I do? I reinstalled this messing around with this insertion and you can see uh -huh, it is working ah, it's it's in now now we must have this complicated thing here uh -huh. It's on the place here we go. Well, in my case I'm fiddling around with this wheel, playing around around 10 minutes or so and checking up all this. Oh what's now? What's now? Where are you came from? This is interest. Now the Oh, it's from here. Ah, very funny. Look at this. With this new belt, doesn't work. But, ah, the end switch is working. I repair the end switch. But in this position, no, don't work.
there was the problem that the uh, the drive cannot insert um, the disc so the movement was wrong and I changed the belt but the belt doesn't work we have now the problem that we must change the belt again and have a watch on this aha this is the end of the we must a look on here it's very easy to deinstall and uh, the thing is that on the left you can see on the left side here is a, a small plastic part and uh, here is the the rubber belt and this rubber belt seems to be not correct it's <laughs> it's too big too big and now we get a new one rubber belt sex 100 millimeter too much 80 too much too much too much 40 uh, 38 38 seems to be well this is not so bad 40 or 38 I think it's 38 and put this here 38 I bought a pack of rubber belts you can see 38 and I would like to change it now it's a one millimeter thick and give this back I hope so I can install it here right now it's it's a little bit I must fiddle around and uh, you know the mastermind of belts who is, who is this <laughs> the mastermind of belts I think it's is Techmoan. He changed uh, 10,000 times um, the belt and <laughs> much experience than I. <laughs> I. I worked 35 years in the electronic industry but this what he have is unbelievable. Mm, we must put this here and Put it back. Aha. Uh -huh. Interest. The end switch. We can put this here. Install it. And then put it in back in the position. That will be right. This is correct. So the tray. Give the tray back. Aha. Uh -huh. It's interest. It is. So this is the end. It's the end. If I put it in, then it turns over the point. Okay, it turns over the point. So what? Oh. Making kick and this right here. I think so. Let's put the motor here, and this says it's the end. Okay, it's the end. No, not so, not so bad. I think. Mm. So, and now I must install this. This is the CD holder, but first I must insert this spring, the long spring. No, it's, a, it's interesting, I cannot see clear how that works. Uh huh. Okay, it must be the spring, must be entered here and Ah, come on. Should be insert here. 
Oh, so. That goes well and it fits. I must not messing around with this. Last time I'm messing around with that. So I closed that. And okay. Okay, okay. Looks like nice. So it's good. Yet I install the tray here and this device is holds from four screws from the upper side you can see it I go to the hole into this tray fix the position and also here you can see it you have your hole and huh, I'm messing around to to install this here. This is not so easy. Ah, it holds. Screw is holding and third part. I fit here. Ah, it fits. I screw the screw. Oh, okay. That's correct. And number four. And look. Don't forget to insert this screw on here because this is a grounding screw this is very important for the noise quality on the board that means um, shaking the ground etc and anti-static etc etc so this is well done and connecting the now I'm inserting a CD and Hope so. That works to initialize it. Aha. Uh -huh. Eleven tracks, it said. Say play. Uh -huh. And display. Change the display. What is this play now? Zero and hmm. Uh, look, that means it's jumping. Look at this jumping. You listen this, you can hear this. <laughs> this is interesting. It's a it's a search. It's also the track a track problem. Interest. Stop it now. Open the door. Putting the disc out. And have a watch on the side. But this is not complicated to film. Here is the lens. Let's have a watch on the lens. can see near nothing. No, a red point is here. Red laser point is here. Here is the tray, CD holder and tray. 
but this CD player can hold only a 12 cm CDs. Here we have the CD holder that holds the spinning CD in place. And here we have the CD laser lens. It reads from the bottom side the CD. If you insert a CD, it should be initialized first. And this sound, this tweet, 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 is the servo what initializes the CD. Also, you have here a power supply, and this is the inserter. It inserts the CD tray. Also, a lot of electronics. Spins up the motor, motor controller, and signal processing. And here on the outside, you have the filters for the sampling frequency. This is a low pass filter. Exactly what this chip is on. We must have a watch in the this TC is interest. We must have a watch on it. What is this for a IC? What is that? Hmm. What's that? In Zoom the CD player is working and um, on the background you see the lila and the yellow And the yellow beam from the oscilloscope is not a beam, it's on the LCD um, screen to see. And the lila is the, the focus and the yellow is the tracking the signal. Seems to be normal that the tracking signal is so. And yes. That's super. Sometimes the initialization doesn't work. I put the current from the laser a little bit higher and um, I would like to show that in the plan where you can take it higher. It's interesting uh, to see how old, how lasers can be old after 30 years or so uh, is this play on the market and now it works. The belt was wrong and the current was a little bit too low so the laser initialized not so good the cd in our case we have the laser diode here we have the laser diode and um, this is current controlled from here if you go back to the transistor here is the laser diode here is the current controlled transistor this will be controlled over this operation amplifier and the feedback. The feedback came from the monitor diode, what is built in the laser pickup. It measures the optical output from it and it controls it back. But um, after uh, 30 years, the laser will be dropped down and it lower the light. What I'm changing was uh, the current of this feedback line on this resistor he is a trim body and this potentiometer will be made the feedback point here it's from the monitor diode you see this is not so not so simple to repair some old machine and um, this schneider cdp 7000 is running now uh, the master issue was the failed belt and uh, the second issue is the old laser and the current from the laser. It's uh, too low to read the CDs correct. And um, also the tracking working and focus also working. I see not big complicated or not any um, 
thing to make it better yeah we can change the laser but how we can get a laser like this this is very complicated to get spare parts for old machines and I said only thank you for watching please subscribe my channel if you're interested in CD players and <laughs> I also have a patron patrons uh, on the week bit patrons slash week bit if you would like to subscribe this I buy these laser by my own uh, by the CD players by my own and um, for 5, 10, 15 euros and repair it in front of the camera and then I give it back to the owner or resell it for the same price and so on. Um, it's only for video making and for interest that laser to repair CD players it's a simple thing and um, if it's getting worse or complicated you must go more in, in the details. This is the thing. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.